Let's find out. Okay, let's uh, have a look. Here we go. That's not bad. Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. I do hope you're all well. This is just a quick video because I have just seen that my results for my cryptography coursework that I submitted before Christmas, I've just checked my emails for the first time this weekend and the results were available to view yesterday. So I thought, you know what? Why not do a reaction? It's Sunday the 17th of January and it's 20 past 10 at night. It's actually the night before my first exam for semester one. We've got exams coming up. By the time you're watching this, I probably already had my first exam. So I've been revising all day and then I just checked my emails to actually find out how we can access the exam tomorrow morning. And uh, I've just seen that these results are available. So I thought, you know what, let's do a reaction. I have been checking throughout this week because the results usually take about four weeks to get back to us. Three or four weeks was the last coursework anyway. So I, uh, I can have a look at them now. I can literally click assessment and feedback and find out. So before I do that, let me explain what it was. It was a coding coursework on cryptography. We had a maths workshop in semester one, which we had every Friday, and we had two coursework projects for them. They were group projects, but because everything kind of went ahead on Zoom, it wasn't really as big of a group project that it possibly should have been if it was all online. It still did go quite well. We did it in Zoom calls and we could share our answers with our group and stuff. The other one we got back, I think it's about halfway through the course, that was week six, I think we had the first project. This was the last one that we submitted um, before Christmas and let's find out what I got. I'm gonna press and find out, I think it was out of 25? I actually can't remember. Because I submitted it, I think a month ago. Anyway, let's find out. Okay, let's uh, have a look. Here we go. Um, coursework, oh, I got 19 out of 30. 19.8 out of 30, very nearly 20. That's not bad. I thought it might have been a little bit better than that, but let's, uh, let's see. The feedback was question three is incorrect. What was question three? Question three was the digital signature algorithm. Oh, okay, I remember this now. So I was running out of time a little bit and um, I think it was about two days before the deadline and the questions were quite long. Let me show you here. The questions were quite long and I remember I kept getting an error and oh, I remember the error I kept getting now. I wasn't able to work it out for some reason. So question three is incorrect, but good attempts on the rest, especially question four, well laid out project. I'm pleased with that. You know, that's literally like um, two thirds of the marks. That's pretty good. So question one was, Correct, or it says good attempts on the rest, especially question four. I knew I got question four right because our final answer, we had to decrypt a message and the message that I got was, mathematics is an art of human understanding by William Thurston. And I knew obviously I got that right because it gave me a correct message. Um, so I, I'm, okay, I'm pleased with that, that's okay. I did better in the first one, in the first project. I don't think I told you this, maybe I did. I got 27.7 out of 30 but on this one I got 19.8. Not really much else I can say. We've got the exams coming up this week, which is our end of semester one exams for my three courses. We don't have exams. Um, or did we have an exam? Yeah, we did have an exam. We had two mini exams for this, the coding workshop, but um, I'm, I'm pleased with that. That's okay. We'll leave it at that. So 19.8 out of 30. That is all I've got for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe down below. I'm probably also going to do reaction videos for my results for my end of semester one exams, which will probably be in around about a month because I would guess we will get our results back in about a month because I think you have to get your results, universities say, by three to four weeks after you've actually done the exam. So there will be a reaction video for that as well. But uh, yeah, thank you for watching and I will see you very soon with a brand new video. Bye. That's not bad.